Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll explore a practical scenario with data grid view. I'll show you how to filter rows based on checkboxes in a data grid view. Additionally, I'll provide a small demonstration. In the demo on the screen, we have a data grid view with checkboxes in one of the columns. I'll guide you through the process of retrieving rows where the checkboxes are checked. Next, let's add a data grid view and a button to the form. The data grid view will serve as our data display, and the button will trigger an action. Drag and drop a data grid view onto your form. Position it as desired on the form. Now, add a button control to your form, placing it next to the data grid view. Customize the appearance and text of the button to fit your design. Let's name the button Get International Students. Moving on. Let's create a student class in our project. Follow these steps. Right click on your project in the Solution Explorer. Select Add and then choose Class. Name the class Student and press Enter. Inside the newly created class, add the following code. This class defines the properties of a student, including ID, first name, last name, age, and a Boolean indicating whether the student is international. In the upcoming steps, we'll populate the data grid view with instances of this student class. Following that, we clicked on the form to create the get students method and enter the data. Next, in the form load event, we connected the data to the data grid view. In the form load event, we call the getStudents method, which returns a list of student objects, and set this list as the data source for the data grid view. Stay tuned for the next steps where we'll add checkboxes to filter international students. Moving on, let's personalize the data grid view for a better user experience. Follow these steps to customize it as shown on the screen. Select the data grid view on your form. In the properties window, find the auto size columns mode property and set it to fill. This ensures that columns automatically adjust to fill the available space. Locate the selection mode property and set it to full row select. This allows the entire row to be selected when clicking on any cell. By making these adjustments, our data grid view is now configured to fill the available space and provides a user-friendly full row selection experience. Next, let's add and modify columns in our data grid view to match the properties in our student class. Follow these steps using the Add Columns and Edit Columns sections. Great job! Now, when you test the application, you should see that all the data is successfully populating the data grid view. If everything is set up correctly, each column should display the corresponding property values from the student class. In the upcoming steps, we'll implement the functionality to filter and display only the international students using the checkboxes. Double-click the Get International Students button, and let's add the necessary link code for filtering. In this code, we're using link to filter the list of students and update the data grid view with only the international students when the Get International Students button is double-clicked. Feel free to choose the method that best fits your application structure.
Now, testing the application should display only the international students when the button is clicked. Stay tuned for further enhancements in the next sections.